Anyone else ever notice that Rare has a tendency to make the player base feel like content is grinding to a halt, and then all of a sudden they come in riding on a golden steed with flamethrowers attached and melt our faces? Eh, 2024 is no exception to this. Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. Remember a couple of videos back when I said being a Sea of Thieves partner is often a blessing in disguise because I want you guys to be as hyped as I am? Well, case in point. If you missed the 2024 showcase video last week, then you are in for an emotional roller coaster ride. New weapon types grace our armories and future updates, as well as new tools that allow us to summon skeletons like a Pokemon trainer. And let's just take a moment to talk about the Horn of Far Winds that allows us to floof our sails and use it as an outboard motor for our rowboats. There is just so much to go through, and it's a case of having to focus on one thing, because everything they're adding is so awesome, and I don't want to condense it all into one video. So in this video, we're going to focus on the most important thing. Yes, you guessed it. These boots cosmetics. They're nice. This thing, ladies and gentle sporks, I give you, after a 500 day plus holiday at a bone spa, the Burning Blade. Now, first of all, I just want to focus on one of the most common replies I have seen around several videos and social media, people complaining about the sails looking silly or they don't fit. If only there was somewhere on the screen that might tell us that this is perhaps not the final version. They should really watermark this somewhere and explain to the folks what they're seeing as an unfinished product and was merely used to showcase the mechanics in use. So that's my bigger suggestion to Rare moving forwards. This is something you should work on. No, no. Read the screen, my god! Just read! Oh god! Why don't people read? The Burning Blade, a massive 10 cannon mana war vessel which you can pledge allegiance to, or simply sabotage and take it for yourselves. The vessel will roam the map, and crews in the world will have a chance to take it for themselves, then becoming part of its crew. You will be able to take control and sail the seas and respawn on this vessel just like your regular ship, and it'll also come with an AI crew of skeletons loyal to Flameheart, who will help fire cannons and repair the ship as you sail. If you're a galleon crew, you'll get less help, but if you're a solo sloop, all the aimbots will spawn to your aid. The ship comes equipped with the very first chase weapon, a massive double-shot incendiary cannon that causes both physical and burning damage to any ships trying to get away. Taking the Burning Blade essentially turns you and the crew into a world event, so it'll be up to you to fend off anyone else trying to take it from you. Taking the Burning Blade will assign your crew with orders to seek out new structures that have been placed on existing islands, where Flameheart's followers have been excavating long-forgotten ancient underground temples where the secrets of the ancients have been left dormant. These areas will be filled with puzzle and battle challenges to acquire tribute for the Burning Blade. Unlike a normal play session, although you could optionally take loot and store it if you wish, the goal of the Burning Blade is to acquire tribute. Completing these ancient vaults will transfer tribute directly to the Burning Blade and can only be cashed in at Reaper's Hideout. The amount of tribute you can earn is infinite as long as you keep control of the ship, but enemy crews can take the Burning blade from you at any time, and all of the tribute you have earned will then become theirs. Essentially, the Burning Blade is a massive piece of sentient loot. So yeah, that's better than guilds. So I think it's pretty obvious now where the story arc is going, surrounding the Tainted Sword of Souls, Flameheart is after this new sword. But talking about those new ancient vault areas, the game is already hinting to their locations. The Orb at Reaper's Hideout has once again spoken up and given us hints to a location within Sea of Thieves. Now, there is a lot of spoilers within this video, so I don't want to ruin the fun for you. But go check it out for yourself and follow the cookie crumb trail. I imagine this will be a regular thing over the next few months, and we'll likely see these excavation areas evolve over time, much like Reaper's Hideout in its early days. Now, there is still so much to go into with all the things coming in 2024, and I will grace you all with this information. So please remember to hit that subscribe button to get news as it comes in. And if you feel extra fancy, you could hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment. It's a very exciting time for the game, and I cannot wait to see how this all evolves over the months. 
A quick shout out to my Patreons once again, you guys are absolute legends. Look at them all being legendary. And before I sign off, I just want to say it's going to be surprising how many people are going to be playing this dead game over the next few months. Your opinions must be dwindling by now. Happy sailing, folks, and I'll see you all soon. Yeah. <laughs>